Let's talk about a retail revolution shaking the foundations of the business world. Picture this. Retailers, once thriving, now struggling to stay afloat. We are witnessing a retail showdown of epic proportions. 2023 is shaping up to be a roller coaster ride. And we're here to take you on this wild journey through the changing retail landscape. So, what's happening out there? As some wise analysts once said, retailers that have no business still being in business will go out of business. The latter half of this year is shaping up to be precisely that scenario. Retail bankruptcies are on the rise. And it's not just any rise. It's on track to be the worst year for retail bankruptcies since the unforgettable roller coaster of 2020. We're talking about some familiar names that have graced our shopping malls for years, now slowly exiting the stage. Why? Because foot traffic in our beloved malls is dwindling faster than an ice cream cone on a hot summer day. Major players like Amazon and Target are already bracing themselves, closing the curtains on some of their stores. They're battening down the hatches, preparing to weather the storm sweeping through the retail landscape. But wait, there's more. We've compiled a list of these fallen giants, brands that have seen better days but are now facing their retail reckoning. Stick with us because we're about to uncover who's saying goodbye to the retail scene in 2023. Want Target, the shoplifter's paradise. Imagine a daring shoplifter dress head to toe in camouflage, stealthily slipping away with cart loads of merchandise. Target, once a retail haven, has become the ultimate challenge for thieves. It's like a modern day heist movie except the loss of $1 billion due to shoplifting has made Target more cautious. So, some of its stores are vanishing into thin air, strategically relocating to towns where shoplifters fear to tread. 2. David's Bridal Love in the time of pandemic. Love is eternal. But even David's Bridal couldn't withstand the stormy weather. The wedding industry took a hit, with weddings postponed, rescheduled and downsized. David's bridal was caught in this horror wind, and as the wedding bells rang less often, they decided it was time to bid adieu to some of their stores. 3. Staples. A paperless world. Imagine an office worker, clad in pajamas, clicking away on a laptop. Welcome to the new world of remote work, where we need fewer sticky notes and more wifi. Staples, once the office superhero, is facing a crisis as the demand for office supplies dwindles. However, they're making a comeback, shifting their focus to small towns where stationary dreams are still alive. 4. Amazon Fresh – The Not-So-Fresh Experience Amazon, the e-commerce behemoth, resists criticism. Customers have been complaining about the quality and price of products at Amazon Fresh stores. It's like ordering a gourmet meal and getting a soggy sandwich instead. They're downsizing Amazon Fresh and doubling down on Whole Foods to salvage their grocery ambitions. 5. Bye Bye Baby. Baby, no more. Eh? It's a heartbreaking farewell to Bye Bye Baby. Bed Bath & Beyond, the parent company, had its hands complete with its challenges. Despite Bye Bye Baby being a valuable asset, they couldn't find a white knight to save the day. So, they're going on a joint adventure into the retail sunset. 6. Journeys. A journey cut short. Imagine strolling through a mall, passing by the store where you once picked out your favorite pair of sneakers. Well, Journey's journey has taken a turn for the worse. They're closing down stores to restructure and save the day. Not because of worn-out shoes. Your favorite sneaker store might come back stronger than ever. 7. Shoe City. The Last Dance. Shoe City is waltzing off the stage after 74 years in business. It's like the end of an era for shoe lovers. Despite selling kicks from iconic brands like Nike and Converse, they needed help finding a suitor to keep the dance alive. So, they're gracefully stepping into retirement. 8. Big Lots. Downsizing dreams, big lots, known for its bargains, face shrinkage and retail theft. 
It's like going to a garage sale where everything is on sale, including the shelves. To combat this, they're moving away from bustling city centers to quieter rural areas with plenty of deals and scarce traffic. 9. Bass. Luxury goes on a break. Even luxury has ups and downs. The luxury apparel retailer Gas is closing its doors as customers hit the brakes on spending. It's like the runway lights dimming while waiting for the fashionistas to return. The shit downs are their way of ensuring a stylish comeback in the future. 10. Christmas tree shops. When wrapping the truth, Christmas tree shops, known for much more than just trees, is closing down as fast as you can say ho, 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 with a misleading name. Some thought they only sold trees. Sales declined and Santa couldn't bring enough holiday magic to save the day. So, they're wrapping up their business like a Christmas present. 11. IKEA. Downsizing dreams. IKEA, the Swedish furniture giant, is folding some iconic blue and yellow stores. They're transitioning to smaller spaces, leaving behind the warehouses that once housed endless furniture dreams. It's like rearranging your living room. Sometimes, you need a fresh start. 12. Hardee's, fast food farewell. Hardee's, the fast food haven, is closing about 45 restaurants. It could be a nod to the changing tastes of fast food aficionados. They're swapping the burger flip for a new recipe, hoping to spice things up and make a comeback. 13. Corner Bakery, the office space crunch. Remember those days when office cubicles were filled with the aroma of fresh-baked goods? Well, those days are on hold. Corner Bakery is feeling the pinch as offices remain emptier than ever. So, they're shutting down some of their stores, regrouping, and planning for a time when the office buzz returns. 14. Auntie Anne's, the pretzel twist. Auntie Anne's, the pretzel sensation is making a strategic retreat, closing down 116 location. Inflation hit them hard, forcing them to twist their business strategy. They'll return with new twists and flavors, ready to tempt our taste buds again. 15. Boston Market. The comfort food conundrum. Boston Market, famous for its comfort food, feels the heat as ingredient shortages hamper their ability to serve those hearty meals. So, they're closing down some location, perhaps retreating to their secret recipe kitchen to return stronger in the ever-changing world of retail. These brands are taking different paths, some temporarily stepping back to rebrand and adapt, while others are bidding their final farewells. As we watch this retail revolution unfold, one thing's for sure the retail landscape is transforming and it will be a retail store for the agents. So, stay tuned, because the show must go on.